Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we're at a weird, different camera angle and most of this video, you're gonna be staring at my crotch or my butt. Either way, you're welcome. Uh, that being said, this is the video on showing how I actually carry the stuff that I carry from my previous EDC video. I don't know if this is going to be part one or part two, or not part one. It's definitely going to be part two or part three, perhaps, because the other one is on my EDC back. Um, but this is showing the stuff that I carry on my person and how I carry it on my person, because a few of you guys have been asking, and uh, this is to show that you guys can definitely carry a good amount of stuff on you, on your body, and it can conceal well, it can hide well, and it doesn't have to be crazy uncomfortable. Uh, in fact, I'm very comfortable right now. So, anyway, first up, G-Shock, okay? This is the G-Shock Illuminator. Always have a G-Shock on my wrist. It's functional. Um, I don't have to worry about banging it on stuff. It's waterproof. It always tells the time. It's got a bunch of other features that I don't know how to use, but they're there anyway. It's cool, right? paracord bracelet yeah stupid gun nerd stuff but this one has a functional purpose okay so it has a built-in fire starter which i'm not going to be able to spark right now oh, i sparked a little bit let's see if we can get it no it's got a whistle that's right and uh, paracord paracord is a handy thing also keep a rubber band you never know there's literally a book written on all the things you can do with a rubber band Okay, and typically right now it's cold, uh, not outside, but in the house. And uh, I got a hoodie on because it's it's pretty cold right now. But typically shirt, you know, whatever, it's going to come down this far, if not a little farther. Um, I don't wear my little sister's shirt, probably because I don't have a little sister. But anyway, here it is. Gun appendix. Okay. J-frame, 642, no Hillary hole, Hogue mono grips. Currently, I actually just switched up the carry load. Currently, I am running uh, 125 grain bonded jacketed hollow points from Underwood. Um, plus P's, excellent load. Okay, the rig. The rig is a Harry's holster icon rig. Carries appendix, okay, on my SOE belt. This is the EDC low profile belt. Super comfortable, super concealable. I could be wearing a medium sized t shirt and carry this comfortably and concealed without an issue. Um, being able to draw and fire and do whatever I got to do is not an issue whatsoever, okay? And, and that Hogue mono grip definitely helps. There's the, uh, the K bar TDI in the NSR tactical sheath. And this I have there because I can access it with either hand, okay? And it's a fixed blade, it's a weapon retention, it's somebody's on top of me, I gotta grab something, get them off me, whatever it is. This is, you know, a, a fighting knife. This does not run out of bullets. I can do what I have to do with it if need be, and I can access it from either hand whenever I want. Same thing with this. This is the Bastinelli Picor right there, okay? Bastinelli Picor, I kinda messed that up. Let me Doug Markita this real quick, okay. Oh, you don't want it. You don't want these problems. Oh, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, Bassinelli Picor. It rides right in the, and these are LA Police Gear uh, shorts, operator shorts, I believe they are. Rides in this nice little cute Kydex sheath with an ulti clip, slides right in the pocket. Clips on, doesn't go anywhere. Uh, left side pocket, I have my pen, okay? There's a pen for writing. I could also hit you in the temple with it if I had to. It's sturdy enough, and then right next to that, Streamlight Micro Stream. Okay, that's the USB rechargeable one, and um, you know it, it's bright for its intended purpose. Uh, left pocket, lighter. Okay, you need to be able to start fire if need be. Lighter, got that. Keys. Okay, keys always go in the left pocket. I got the Victorinox Classic SD. I've got the Olight. I've got my backup gun, in case any of you guys out there want to smoke. Okay, I got that I got that glizzy on me. Okay. Furthermore than that, I got change and spare aspirin in there all the time. And the ubiquitous chapstick. Okay, you gotta look good for the ladies. Right pocket, right here. Okay. That's where I keep my main folder. This is the Microtech LUDT large underwater demolition team. Actual NSN. Numbered knife issued to seal divers. 
okay navy divers this thing is awesome it's a microtech it's super sharp i could fight with this if i had to but primarily i'm killing cardboard boxes with it other knife okay we're, we're looking at the back now here here oh look at the butt look at the butt guys okay this is the doug markaita bassinelli mako folder it's a folding karamba you guys have seen it okay it's a liner lock but it works okay i'm not worried about it um, it deploys with the wave feature off of your pocket. Okay, that works. I carry it in my back right pocket. So let's go over this. I got a knife here. 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 Okay, if I can't, there's no way I can't get to one of these if need be. Okay, um, left side. What else do I got? I got the Surefire EDC L2-T. Okay, this is my fighting light. It's got Moonlight. Okay, and then it's got in your face bright. I also have the shot cord mod on it. So I can do what I gotta do. I could still skin that smoke wagon, fight with the gun. Okay, I could still reload the gun with this without losing retention. Even if I open my hand, I can do what I have to do um, with that gun. I can do what I have to do. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. You can cut these off of like your, your winter jackets and stuff, tie them together. It works. I think you could buy shot cord on Amazon too, but this light is amazing. I could also use this as an impact weapon, no matter, you know, the situation. I could also carry this a lot more places than knives and guns, okay, because this is just a flashlight until it's not, okay? So there's that. That, uh, that hangs in my, uh, in my cargo short pocket like that, just so you guys could see that back left pocket this is my handy dandy notepad and my awesome soe wallet so that goes in my back left pocket and all y'all they're like oh you shouldn't give that information away because now somebody's going to try and mug you i wish they would just kidding i don't wish that but like i am prepared in case you tried <laughs> but anyway anyway people um back right pocket there's nothing but that mako folder karambit and uh, this works out well. I like it a lot. It's a solid blade. It's extremely sharp. Again, and, and the Mako and the Picor and the K-Bar do not get used for anything. And I mean anything other than bad guys. They're both super sharp edges. Never been used because I haven't come across any bad guys yet. Okay. But again, the folder, no matter what kind of folder you're using... Uh, I recommend getting a nice high quality one with proper blade steel and fit and finish and function. Uh, Microtech is great for that. Medford Knife and Tool. A lot of people out there. Spider Co. Check them out. Then, in my right cargo pocket, I keep reloads to my gun. Okay, so yeah, I got to bend over and grab them a little bit. But I have two HKS 36A speed loaders. Okay, these are again with that new Underwood ammo, the Plus P 125 grain bonded jacket at hollow point. Box says 1250. Out of a snub, you're probably getting a thousand, but either way, shoots great. Point of impact, uh, point of aim, point of impact, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna work. They're gonna expand. Other than that, what else do I got? My phone. I record currently now on my Galaxy S20. Um, it's the smallest one out of the three. It's just the regular S20 5G. The Ultra and the whatever it else is, is too big. I carry a lot of stuff on my person. So typically the phone will go in the right pocket. Um, sometimes I'm also wearing a neck knife or something like that. Uh, sometimes if I'm wearing pants, I got the ankle med kit, but I always have my EDC bag with me. So hopefully this gives you, you know, an idea. I've got a lot of stuff on me. I got a gun. I got one, two, three, four knives plus the knife on my keys. Okay, there's another knife. I also have scissors and, and a, a, a screwdriver and a toothpick and all types of stuff. So you can be prepared for a lot of situations and uh, not inconvenience yourself that much. I'm not the skinniest dude, but I have all this stuff with me every single day. You can ask anyone that I know, and sometimes I even have more. So that being said, guys, that's the video showing you guys my on-body EDC. I know it was weird and awkward and the camera angles are terrible and the audio is probably not that good and whatever it is. But I'm out here trying to make it, people. I'm out here trying to make it. Support me. Support what I'm doing here. I'm just kidding, guys. But hopefully you guys got an idea of how it is. Um, always wearing Solomon shoes. 
And, uh, you know, I always got some gun shirt on and gun hat and whatever it is. You know, I'm no gray man by any means. But, I mean, with this luxurious beard, can you really be? That's what I want to know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton. Please, if anything, click those first three links in the description box below. Furthermore, if you want to support what I do here, check out the other links in the description box. Shop at those. I get a little bit of a kickback, and that goes right back into the channel to make more and better content for you guys. Make sure you subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Otherwise, I'm going to come and find you, and you won't see me. You won't see me. And that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Putting up with my my insanity. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.